Oh, hey there. Back on Trail Metro Radio. Welcome to the station. Please like this. Please subscribe. It's tight in here. My, uh, my surroundings are a little odd. I'm actually in a snow hole. You can see the outside world a little bit. Nope. I'm actually in a temporary shelter using an emergency bivy. And uh, you can see I've used my skis and ski poles as a brace to kind of support the roof a bit. And then I've actually put a little bit of snow on it to give it some weight. What you can do if you've got paracord is you can actually make a much more solid roof. which allows you to brace the uh, emergency blanket or um, emergency uh, tarp much more effectively, if you will. So, but for now, I just kind of want to show you how I did this. Okay, so what I did here was dug out a hole and it had to be deep enough. Obviously, this was only as deep as I could make it, it was hitting the ground. So it was about two and a half, three feet deep. And after digging the hole, I prepared the skis by laying them upside down, and then I crisscrossed the ski poles underneath the tarp. But notice how I folded the ends of the tarp underneath the skis to kind of keep them in place and help brace them against the wind. And that was aided by the snow being packed down on the sides. Every backcountry traveler, no matter what season, you need to know how to build some kind of temporary shelter. Um, normally in the winter, you can build a snow cave, but the snow is so shallow here. It's only about three and a half feet deep. And so that makes it a little bit harder to build a snow cave. So this, so I just dug a hole out in the snow, put the, the emergency tarp over it and voila, I've got a place to hang out, weather a storm, um, operate a radio. I don't know. That is just a quick little tip for the day. Build shelter, get out, practice building it, figure out the uh, nuances of your equipment and how you can use it to your advantage in an emergency situation. This, sometimes storms, they can last and you've just got to hunker down, but be aware that they happen and they can take you by surprise. So uh, get your gear figured out and go practice. Backcountry Amateur Radio.